throughout the course of the thousands of times you will exit the cab or your tractor or dry van trailer, maintaining three points of contact all the way to the ground level while facing your tractor or rear of the trailer, is the proven method of reducing injuries from slips and falls. Maintaining three points of contact also helps reduce impact forces that can result in ankle, knee, and back injuries. Impact force is a measure of stresses your body receives when your feet make contact with the ground while exiting your vehicle. Impact forces vary by your weight and the height from the lowest level before making contact with the ground. Yes, there is an impact force while using correct three points of contact method. Understand that this force is substantially less versus leaping to the ground directly from the cab or lower step. The key to avoiding injuries from large impact forces is to reduce your risks to as low as reasonably possible. To help you understand how much impact force you experience at different heights, we have prepared this animation with calculations for those with different body weights. We have to use animation to safely represent the demonstrations, but the measurements are accurate. We will address impact forces of exiting your cab facing outward from three different heights. Directly from the cab from a height of 49 inches, from the second level step at 33 and a half inches, and from the first level step from an elevation of 16 inches. We will also compare the impact force for people weighing 180, 230, and 280 pounds at these levels. Obviously, leaping directly to the ground from the cab will have the highest impact force. How much force? may surprise you. An individual weighing 180 pounds leaping directly from the cab will experience an impact force of 1,339 pounds. Keep in mind that the collision force of a linebacker tackling a fullback is around 750 pounds of force. A person weighing 230 pounds leaping from this height will be subjected to 1,711 pounds of force. If you would happen to fall head first, your skull will break with as little as 1,200 pounds of force. Now, if you weigh 280 pounds, your impact force is an incredible 2,083 pounds. Impacts over 1,400 pounds pose a significant risk of fracturing your ankle or foot. What if you jumped from the second level step? Weighing 180 pounds, your impact is 842 pounds. Still, more force than being hit by a linebacker. At 230 pounds, the force is 1,076 pounds. And for those weighing 280 pounds, the impact force is 1,310 pounds. Jumping from the second level step does not significantly reduce the impact force. Also, you can easily lose your balance after your feet hit the ground. Now, what about jumping from the first level step? A person weighing 180 pounds would experience 284 pounds of force. One weighing 230 pounds, 363 pounds. And weighing 280 pounds creates an impact force of 442 pounds. Although the impact force may not be very high, you may still lose your balance and fall or trip. Not to mention the risk of falling when walking forward down the stairs to that point. Using and maintaining proper three points of contact greatly reduces impact forces. Again, reducing the risks to as low as reasonably possible. Injuries from impact forces while exiting a dry van trailer from not using proper three points technique can and do result. Jumping directly from the trailer at a height of 48 inches is just like jumping directly from the cab. A person weighing 180 pounds would hit the ground with an impact of 1,339 pounds. A person of 230 pounds would land with 1,711 pounds of force. One weighing 280 pounds creates a force of 2,083 pounds. Serious injuries from this height can also occur from a slippery or icy surface. Using your hand to support the floor does not greatly reduce the impact force. At 180 pounds, you still experience 1,224 pounds. At 230 pounds, a force of 1,564 pounds. And if you are 280 pounds, you are subjected to 1,904 pounds. In addition to the impact force from hitting the ground, your supporting arm and hand may get overloaded and injured too. Riding the door does not reduce the impact force. It actually causes extra stresses on your shoulders and elbows. Similar to the proper way to exit the cab, as you can see, the safest way to exit a trailer is to maintain three points of contact throughout the process. Here at Holland, we cannot emphasize enough the importance of using proper three points of contact throughout your day to reduce the risks in our industry of slips, falls, and injuries caused by excessive impact forces.